Logan YouTube, this is Jerry, Sky Management. Hope you voted. We're here today because we are in a nasty apartment that was left in a bad way. We had somebody that smoked in this unit for about 30 years. And uh, much to my chagrin, we're going to have to go through and redo the entire thing. Uh, this bathroom, it used to be white. It is now a lovely beige color. And we also have some ceiling issues because of this. And because there's pretty much just a total loss aside from having just gut the whole thing, what we've done is we've gone on Amazon and purchased the cheapest paint sprayer that we could find with the intent of trying to use it and then throwing it away when we were done. This was about $40 from Amazon. It is a 700 watt spray gun uh, paint sprayer. The specs on it there, 700 watt. And uh, what we're going to do is unbox this real quick and uh, show you what's in the box that we're going to be loading it with what we purchased from Menards, which is a primer and paint primer to cover everything. And then hopefully, if this thing lasts like we think it's going to, we'll be able to go ahead and spray uh, the ceilings, the whole ceilings, as well as the cross members, the walls, uh, everywhere that it's all just been smoke stained and everything else too and hopefully save us a lot of time the, obviously the prep work as far as taping out the walls uh, door frames and all that kind of stuff is, is, is very important probably one of the most time consuming and important parts uh, of a spray job uh, in this box you've got your sprayer which is right there it feels pretty well made considering I wasn't exactly sure what to expect but it feels pretty heavy duty you've got your uh, little hopper there that you put the paint in and attach it on uh, some little funnels different nozzles that you can put on and a cleaning tool to help clean it out at the end and truth be told if this gets through one job uh, I think we're gonna be gonna be money ahead at 40 bucks to try to do this thing because this would take multiple coats and rolling this and, and a big reason why is the ceilings Look at that. You know, so let's give her a try and see and see what we think. Can we say anything? Are you, are you talking? Or what? Oh, go ahead, man. I'm filming you. Well, let's do it. Is, is it even doing anything? Is, is it doing? Is it doing anything? There's paint coming out here. Let's shoot it on the floor. It's a fairly even spray, but it just isn't spraying enough. And this it, is this is the biggest nozzle you've got? It might be okay for like a hobby use or something, but if you're trying to paint a room with this thing, it's gonna take you all day. Well then we need to we need to make some modifications, either thin down the paint or come up with a, a bigger tip. Let's up the ante and give her a little more power. So far we've been trying to spray with the largest size nozzle, which was the 2.6 millimeter nozzle, and it's barely coming out of the end of this thing. Now they give you the option that you can thin down your paint, which is fine, which we may have to try to do. Or you could take one of the additional nozzles, it doesn't recommend this, and I'm going to use a drill bit and make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to try that. So I'm just going to use this drill bit, and just go ahead and waller this into this thing out, and just make it bigger than the 2.6, make it about a 3 or a 3.5, and, and then we'll uh, give that a good shot and see how that works. All right, let's thin this stuff down. We're gonna put about 20% water in here to thin it down. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll stir that up and see if that helps it come out any better. Okay, in conclusion, my personal opinion, the gun kind of sucks. I think it does what it's supposed to do, but the thing is, it just, it's just going to take 
a year and paint this apartment. I think if you're using it in place of cutting in, for like brushwork around trim the edges like that, I think it's going to work really good. But as far as the flat walls, what, what do you think? For small hobby projects, this will be fine. I think for doing entire rooms, this just doesn't do it. Well, there you have it, our personal opinion. The cheapest one on Amazon just doesn't cut it for a full apartment job.